Well, it's uh, Tuesday today, isn't it? Tuesday afternoon. I've got myself a 16mm M16 by 1.5 sump bolt. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the split pin off the uh, clutch pedal that you can see there in the middle. And then I'm going to unbolt the master cylinder. Okay, so that's that pedal disconnected. And then I'm going to undo like 12 mil bolts, I think. Long reach ones probably needed. But I'll disconnect the pipe work at under the, the bonnet first. Right, so in here I'm gonna disconnect this union here, this clip, and then I'm gonna disconnect this hose that takes it out of the slave cylinder. And then I'll tuck that pipe up out of the way. So the minimum fluid comes out of the reservoir. Alright, so I've disconnected the uh, the pipe and the reservoir under the bonnet and now I'm going to undo that 12 mil. Oh, don't know if that's supposed to happen like that. But yeah, that's just it's just gone straight to the floor. So I've got that one as well. So I've got to get these off, and then presumably I can just pull the master cylinder out. Well, in theory, all I need to do is pull that out now. There we have it. One master cylinder. That top, the top one's a bit of a balls ache to get to, but as long as you're a contortionist, you'll manage just fine. So, now, you can see there's like stuff on there, so it's presumably had a leak somewhere at some point. But the next thing is to get a pair of pipe grips on that and see if it comes off. Well, there's the uh, clutch damper, and how much protrusion have we got? Right, so I'll just check the uh, the bolt. So that's the inside of the damp uh, the section where the damper bolts on. It's got a rubber specially fitted looks like or unless that's that's oh, just shit just crap right, that's been built up that's just a stain still right that's how ovalized it was it's not that bad but it's definitely not circular anymore so that's the uh, there's the rubber seal and the copper washer in there. So um, I'm tempted to grind that down. Okay, so that's the master cylinder bolted back in. Uh, Need to connect the 11 mil bit here, and I need to connect this hose onto there again. Uh, 
Well, the light's running away with me here. But, oh, bollocks, I haven't put the flash on. Well, the flash was on. So, I'm currently gra gravity bleeding it. I've put a piece of uh, towel underneath the master cylinder. There's no sign of any leaks from the 11mm fitting and there's no sign of any leaks from the bolt, the M16 by 1.5 bolt. So currently I'm letting this gravity bleed here just now as you can see it's dripping and then I'm going to let that get down still got a little bit to go down to the max mark then I'll nip it up and see if I can get some but I'll maybe just nip it up just now and see if I can get any pedal so I've, I've put the pin and everything back into place for the, uh, the clutch pedal so we'll see how that goes Right, everything's <clears throat> reassembled. It's not absolutely 100%. So let's get a seat further forward a bit. I'm pushing the pedal. It doesn't feel too bad. Um, it definitely feels like it's getting bite. Okay. Uh, wipers are on. So glow plug light's going off. Foot down. Car started. No, no, that's actually worse than it was. Reverse, no, no, definitely not. So <laughs> I've gone, I've gone one step forward and. Uh, I'm two steps back at the moment, but I've not bled the brakes properly yet. So the the pedal function does feel does feel decent actually. But no, that's not going into gear at all. So let's see, I shall try into gear. I can feel the clutch is dragging very slightly there. Let's see, put the lights on. Yeah, very, very quick bite point there. Yeah, that's that feels a much quicker bite point than it did before. Yeah, it's it's definitely worse than it was. I'll take that off. Into reverse. Start it up, I can feel that's kind of dragging a little bit. So that's going back. Brake on. Yeah, that's not letting me bring it out. So, well, update for today failed. Um. I'll need to get it, I'll need to bleed it properly tomorrow. But the uh it's too it's too dark now. I'll just need to tidy my tools up and uh see about getting it bled, but the clutch feels the clutch feels fine actually. You know, I'm not gonna deny. But yeah, the clutch the clutch feels very strong. Let's try it again. I can get it in there. That did go in, but that went in. That went in. That went in. Um, it's definitely going into gear, but it's not going in as it should. It might be that I need to do a little bit more bleeding. Mm, that went in easier. That definitely went in easier. 
Yeah, that's definitely going to be easier. Let's try reverse. Yes? Oh! So, it's a bleed problem now. I've obviously got to... Oh, -ho! that was a that was a close one. So, yeah. It's obviously not got all the uh, system. <clears throat> so, I'm going to stop this a sec. Well, I don't know what happened there, but it's definitely the bleeding. It is working now, so as I say, it's getting a bit dark out there. Let's see the windows in here. Whoa, whoa. If the van's rocking, don't come knocking. So, pedal down. It definitely feels much better, that. Across. Two fingers. Two fingers. Let's just do it differently. Let's just do one finger. Yeah, one finger. One finger into neutral, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, out of gear. <clears throat> then across, oh, I need to lift it up, don't I? Lift it up into reverse. So let's do a proper test. Well, I've never really seen any video of this, but this uh, this window was shuddering before. It looks like it's bloody broad daylight out there, but it's not. <clears throat> so, oh, that went down itself. All the way down. Well, there you go. I don't edit anything, but that's been working perfectly until now. So anyway, back to the next, back to the original part of the video. Right, so it's decided it's on auto light, so... Right, so there we go. Clutch is down. Into gear, absolutely no problem. Oh, what have I just gone over? I've just driven over something there. Don't know what that was. <clears throat> but yeah, gears are fine. Absolutely no problems. Yeah, happy with that. I better get out and see what the hell I just drove over. Well, here's that sticky window. Fine. Isn't it funny how these things happen? So anyway, it's fine. It looks like it's daylight here, but it's actually very dark, so good low light uh, filming there. So anyway, that's uh, the clutch taken care of. I have to say I'm quite pleased with that. Um, what I ran over was I had a jar to collect uh, the brake fluid, which was somewhere about here, and I drove over it. So, so far the tyre seems to be up, as far as I can tell, and that's obviously where I just felt a splinter of glass in my fingers there as I gently caress the tyre. So yeah, there's there's definitely bits of glass on my fingers there. So, <clears throat> I'll need to uh, get all that cleaned up tomorrow in the daylight, but there's a bit of the glass there. So it's popped the tyre, uh, popped the glass jar, so Clean that up in the morning. I'm not gonna, not gonna move the car. So I'll put the engine cover back inside here. So I feel quite, uh, feel it's been quite a productive day. So that's good. So tomorrow, I think it's meant to be absolutely pouring down with rain, but uh, next job is the ESC light. 
So I might actually move the car. No, I'm going to wait till uh, wait till I check for glass here tomorrow. I mean, it looks like daylight. It's unbelievable how it looks, but uh, it's actually dark. <laughs> um, that's what it really looks like. You see there. That's more what the the light levels are like. So anyway, <clears throat> enough for today. Um, you saw the proof of the pudding there with the uh, sump bolt and the uh, the regulator removed. So if you've got a low clutch pedal or find it difficult to uh, engage the gears, what I would suggest or recommend is that if you haven't got success bleeding the system, and for me gravity bleeding worked best, so that's another thing for you, See about removing your master cylinder and undoing the clutch damper and putting an M16 by 1.5 pitch thread bolt. Uh, obviously make sure it's not too long, that only takes up the space. That was another thing I did. I uh, put a bit of towel under there. I'll leave that bit of towel there until tomorrow. Right, so that looks like it's at the max level. Uh, there's no sign of anything leaking there so far. So that looks good. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it till tomorrow. I've still to put the uh, bleed nipple, nipple cover on and these three bolts to uh, secure the airbox. But I'm quite quite pleased with that. So that's enough progress for the day. I've obviously done four videos now on this. I haven't really spent that much time on it. I don't think I've spent an entire day yet. I've definitely spent four or five hours, I would guess. But uh, so far, it's all heading in the right direction. ESC light next to check. This is just a quick insert for a question about the uh, condensation in the higher level brake light on my Kia Seed where I'd put a bit of super glue over. So there's been quite a bit of rain here, not today, but yeah, it's it's actually been all right. Sorry for the uh, the the lighting effects on it, but. Yeah, it's it's certainly condensation free, and that repair has presumably cured it. So no problems there. Now, I've, now that I've taken this video, it'll probably uh, it'll probably start being filled up with condensation again. <laughs> 